bite. Maybe I'll spend the night. Yeah, yeah. That's a bite. What's it? What's it like? That's the type of shit I like. Yeah, yeah. That's a bite. It's a bite. That's a bite. Oh, it's a bite. Yeah, yeah. It's a bite. Yeah, yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back. So I'm going to start out by going into my Carity 21 matte palette. I'm taking the shade Coquette right here, and I'm just going to use that as a transition and base shade over the majority of my eye. Next, I'm going into the shade Vegas, which is kind of a warm orange tone, and I'm using that in the transition area as well, using a smaller tapered blending brush. To add some more reddish tones closer to the crease, I'm taking NSFW, Not Safe For Work, and I'm going to work that into the crease area using that same blending brush. And if I feel like I'm losing a bit of that orange, I'm going to go back in with Vegas to buff out the edges with some more orange as well. Now to add some depth to the crease, I'm going into my ABH Modern Renaissance palette and I'm mixing the two shades Red Ochre and Realgar on a bullet shaped brush or like a pointed crease brush and I'm just going to work that in right at the crease. It's not too dark but I'm using that as sort of a transition to the deeper shades I'm moving into later. Now taking the shade Cypress Umber, I'm going to use that mostly on the outer V and then work it into the crease as well just to add a little bit more depth before I go in and cut the crease. Using my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and a flat synthetic brush, I'm going to go ahead and map out the crease of my eye and just give us some more uh, definition to that shape. And this is going to provide a, ba a base for the shimmer shade that I'm going to use later, the metallic pigment that you're going to see next. And for the gold in this look, I'm taking my Makeup Forever Starlit Powder and I'm using a very thin, flat synthetic brush to go ahead and lay that on. And this brush, brush being so flat and kind of tapered, it's allowing me to have a precise edge where I did the cut crease or semi-cut crease. And this loose pigment can be used as an eyeshadow or as a highlight and I didn't have to wet my brush at all, it just laid down beautifully. Now taking a MAC Single Shadow in Deep Damson, I'm going to use that to add a little bit more of a deep uh, wine shade to the outer V, and I'm just going to blend that in. Then taking my ColourPop Single Shadow and making moves, 
I'm going to go over everything to blend out that deep damps and shade as well as the transition colors and just give everything a nice beautiful warm pinkish orange finish and this is going to make everything come together then I'm going to take my NYX epic ink liner and I'm just going to use that beautiful fine tip brush to give myself a nice wing I love 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 this liner it's so easy to use so I'm definitely going to pick it up again I'm going to throw on some lashes, finish the rest of my face, and that's going to be all for this look. So I really hope you enjoy it. And if you recreate it, just make sure you tag me on social media so I can see your beautiful faces. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.